I'm joined now in the studio by Alfonso Velasco Tamames, who is a research analyst at the Economist Intelligence Unit. Thank you very much for coming in to speak to, to us. Here. So uh, we know that Turkey has had its fair share of economic problems for a while now. They've been building up, but what has caused it to tip over the edge like this? Well, as you say, I mean, problems have been building up over the past couple of years. Uh, an inadequate policy response to uh, these economic uh, problems, uh, tensions uh, with some of its allies, uh, and higher interest rates uh, in advanced economies have all come together uh, to uh, create this market panic that we've seen in the last week. So there's, there's a combination of factors that you mentioned there, but how much of that is under the control of the government or, or President Erdogan? Well, quite a bit. Um, there's a lot of um, speculation that the central bank is not uh, raising rates more aggressively, especially given the high interest rate environment uh, that we uh, that the Turkey currently has because of pressures from uh, President Erdogan. So um, there is, I, I believe, we believe quite a bit that could be done uh, to shore up the lira at this point. So do you, do you foresee that changing in any way? Because usually when a country faces these sort of challenges, they would uh, raise interest rates in order to support the cu currency and to, to control inflation. Clearly that is not happening. Why is President Erdogan opposed to raising interest rates? That's uh, a fantastic question. Um, Arguably, uh, he is highly concerned of uh, raising interest rates further from where they are now, which is already quite high at 17.75%. That's the main policy rate, um, as that could uh, severely dent uh, the economic momentum. Uh, nonetheless, at the end of the day, if they want to get out of this situation, one of the things they'll have to do uh, is raise rates uh, quite significantly from where they are right now. So Turkey's existing economic problems have been exacerbated by President Erdogan's um, influence over the central bank. His opposition to raising interest rates now m m might increasingly be a problem. But how much of a catalyst is the deteriorating relationship with the United States? Well, it's certainly part of it, uh, absolutely, especially uh, over the past six months. Um, in recent weeks, one of the big concerns was uh, whether or not uh, sanctions on certain government members uh, could end up being something uh, larger affecting the economy. Um, so, of course, uh, in com combination with uh, the other factors we've discussed, uh, that just doesn't create a very uh, healthy environment for investors. And what is your assessment of geopolitical risk here? Um, we know that President Erdogan it has made it clear he is not happy with the way the U.S. Is, is treating a NATO ally. How will all this impact Turkey's relationship with Western countries, with Europe and the U.S.? Absolutely. The, the relationships right now between uh, the U.S. and Turkey, and it's no mystery to anybody, uh, are not at their finest moment. Um, we do not believe that they've gone past the point of no return. We've seen over the past couple of months um, in, in, in different areas uh, the ability to agree on controversial topics. Uh, so it's not yet clear that all is broken. Um, but the risk is there, absolutely. Thank you very much, Alfonso Velasco Tamames from the Economist Intelligence Unit. Thank you very much for having me.